And we are back. Our final day at the Minnesota State Fair. Well, normally on the show, it's a, it's a staple of the Jason Show. We do our best things ever. It's our versions of Oprah's favorite things. Uh, we share the lotions, potions, stores, uh, clothes, uh, things we love. And we're going to do a State Fair edition. So it's time for best thing ever, everybody. Here we go. And we should say... All of these things, we tried to pick something that we probably haven't talked about on the show before. I will go first, and though the initial, the actual product isn't new, it's been around since I believe 86, 87, the condiment on top of it, I discovered this week. I was uh, going around with my mom, and we went to Australian battered potatoes. Oh, now, okay. Now, the potatoes themselves are actually the best thing ever, but they're not new. Again, they've been here since the late 80s, and uh, they're a good friend of Dale Kay. These are, as you can imagine by the name, hello, they're battered potatoes. But they're so good. But it's what's on top of it that I'm naming the best condiment at the fair. Oh, okay. And that, that is Australian chicken salt. Uh oh. And if you're thinking, what the hell is chicken salt? <laughs> it is exactly what you think it is. It's made with chicken skins, and, and the salt is rolled around in that and, 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 and other spices. And it is, I am now, we had it like three days ago. I've already ordered it off Amazon. Oh. I'm going to put it on potatoes, baked potatoes, popcorn, everything. So uh, my friend Panda, thank you, Panda, went this morning to get some. So please, find a potato. Stick the spud in your mouth. Find one with, no, Fallon, take that one. That has some good sprinkles on it. Find one with a lot of chicken. Wow, you just grabbed that girl right away. <laughs> that one doesn't have chicken salt on no. it, Bjorn. Right there, that one does. Find a little nugget with some chicken salt and dig in. Yeah, I have a confession. This is my third one today. <laughs> <laughs> They're delicious, though. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's called waiting for the segment, BB. <laughs> called waiting for the segment. How many Hail Marys does BB have to do for that confession? Right, you know? <laughs> exactly. So I have a question. What are you eating it on when you got it besides the potatoes? I just had it on the potatoes. Oh. We got ready to walk away, and the owner chased me down. <laughs> she was like, because she rec I, I had the shirt on. She was, no, 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 no. I, I can't do an Australian accent. I said, no, 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 no. She was, you cannot go. You're doing it wrong. You need to pour the chicken salt on these. And I'm like, chicken salt? And now I understand why. I, di I didn't do any. You can get sauces on these, yeah. but they have shakers outside. They're right at the beginning of the fair, oh, at the top of the tip. fair, okay. by the cattle barn and stuff. They Again, they've been here for years, but I bought that salt. I'm putting it on everything. Chicken salt. Can, can you just steal a shaker instead of buying it? I, I didn't steal a shaker. I thought that wouldn't look good for uh, us. I heard from a reliable source that Trader Joe's used to sell chicken salt, but oh. no longer. They oh. got rid of it. You can get it online. You can find it on Amazon, but make sure you get it from an Australian company because that is the purest. So uh, there we go. Chicken salt. The purest okay. of chicken salt. Time Come for up. number four. That's right. There's uh, <laughs> potato number four for Bjorn. Okay, who's next? Fallon. I'll Fallon. Go next. So um, Eat Baba's is not new to the Minnesota State Fair, but they have a new food item this year. It's the Baba Bacon. So Ooh. the bowl has your regular hummus. It has sour cream. It has um, grilled onions, bacon, tater tots, and then their amazing pitas. I had one yesterday to start my day because you got to get a healthy base layer. Um, but I do. <laughs> I actually do like that this is not fried other than the tater tots. And you got to get the... Um, the pita too there jason but it's they're just fluffy and pillowy and delightful and it's i don't know it's just kind of almost like it's hard to say with bacon it's a refreshing kind of thing but it is with the hummus it's really nice i know what you mean because after a while so much fried stuff yes you need something that's not fried this mm. i get i understand what you mean mm -hmm. even though there's bacon in it it is fresh Wow, Bjorn Jeff? just went after the bowl, man. Do it. That's some of the best hummus I've ever had. Thank you. They do have some of the best hummus. It's Their hummus is so good and uh, highly recommend. It's yeah. nice. It's family owned. They're so nice yes, over there. Yes, they are. Look they at are. BB know we need to give him more to do. He's like going to every vendor. And <laughs> we've, we've been here a long time. That's where we yeah, have that's been true, here. That's true. That, Unbe it's unbeknownst very, to the bosses, we've been here a long time. Yeah, that's right. It's yeah. very garlicky. It's good. Yes, yeah. yes. Your breath is not going to smell good after that one. But, I mean, if you're you don't the care, fair. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, who's next? Is it you there, boss man? The break is next. <laughs> Rap. <laughs> wow. Even when he's in a segment, he raps me. That's right. Part two of our best things ever. 
when we come back. Back after this, everyone. Welcome back, everybody. We're live at the Minnesota State Fair. Don't forget, just a reminder for all of you watching from all across the country, hour two of our show, we're doing a special two-hour run uh, throughout the fair. You can always watch that second hour on uh, Facebook, I'm sorry, on uh, YouTube, and on the Fox local app. And the Jason Show is also available on uh, Tubi as well. Okay, uh, we're right in the middle of our Best Things Ever State Fair uh, edition. We've had some hummus. We've had some uh, condiment. We've had some chicken salt. Now, executive producer Jeff has his pick of the fair. What is it? Now we got to wash it down, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So this is a new vendor this year. It's called Loon Lake Iced Tea, and they're located right outside the Butterfly House, which we were at yesterday. Yes. I walk by every time in the morning when I go visit you at your radio booth. My favorite, they have like five flavors. Here's a picture of them. Okay. Okay. My favorite is the blood orange iced tea. Oh. That so sounds really good. When I stopped at Starbucks, I stole everyone a straw. So <laughs> go ahead and try Perfect. the uh, the blood orange first. Here we go, It's Fallon. not very sweet, which I love. Oh, that's nice. That's like light and refreshing. Oh, you know me well. Oh, it's so that good. That hey, is let, real good. Let, let Bjorn try Yeah, it. let's get Bjorn. because before. I'm he... from the southern portion of Indiana, so we love a sweet tea. So that is, but that's do. not, but it's too, not too sweet. sweet. It's not yeah. too sweet. It's nice. Us northern Indiana people love it too. Oh, and yeah. what I love too, is yeah. that it's not that expensive. Oh. Like if you'd rather have this than like soda or coffee, mm-hmm. get this. It's okay. the same price. Okay, now this is the one they're kind of known for. Okay, what is this? It this looks is weird. Their, okay, this is their fancy one. It's like the butterfly iced tea. Mm. This is a, it was good, but I like the other one better. Now, Jason, take the little uh, swizzle stick. That's like rock, rock candy, rock right? Rock candy. Okay. Put it in there and stir and see what happens. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's changing beautiful. color. Look at the thing. God, you guys are good. <laughs> you again are ooing iced tea. Thank you. It, does it? It looks it, like there's glitter in there. Yes. There is. It has edible glitter and it turns purple. It turns <gasps> a different color. Oh my goodness. It's like a drink made for BB. Okay. If there's glitter if BB, in it, I will drink I, it. If, if BB was a drink, it would be this. Oh yeah. my gosh, okay. such a okay. butterfly theme today. Now go ahead and try it. This one is a little sweeter. I, I lo- have another straw for uh, you. Yeah, I lost my straw I'll on that one. Thank you. You, you say that's so- cotton candy? What? Cotton candy. It, yeah, it tastes like cotton candy. A little okay. cotton candy. Yeah. BB, take a swig while Jeff is getting my straw there. It's good, but Thank I'm with you. you, Jeff. I like the uh, blood orange one. But this is fun for kids, you oh, know. For the, sure. the kids exactly. would love this. And fun for BB. Yeah, there we go. If yeah, your fun. Kid look how wants pretty some it is. Caffeinated tea. <laughs> Line them up, you know. Yeah. But again, I've got to say, this isn't too sweet no. either. No. If you need an Instagram moment at the fair, you and some glitter tea. Come right on. there, oh, seriously. Stunning. All okay. Right. Last but not least, our producer Bjorn. We're uh, ending with dessert. Okay. What do we have? We What's your have best thing ever? Honey ice cream. Oh. From the Minnesota Honey Producers Association. I have heard about this. I'm so excited. I have heard about this, but yep. I've never tried so, it, Fallon. Thank you. Earlier this week, Joy Summers, her hack was to uh, grab that and put um, frozen apple cider in it. Oh. Uh, but we have sunflower seeds instead. Okay, that's fine. I like a sunflower seed. Is this seed. how it's served? Yes. This is so how it's served? it's naturally sweetened with honey. There's no other sugars. It's honey. It's yep. so oh. good. Yep. And oh. the little sunflower seeds are a perfect touch, too. Oh, you done did good, yeah. BB. Isn't this it is good? real good I, ice I cream. Think, and I believe it's cheaper than the dairy building. Oh. That's so good. So, Jeff, how are you doing over there? It's it's not too sweet. I love it. No. Mm-hmm. Again, that's what I liked about the tea, and that's what I liked about this. They it, also have a float, um, a peanut butter float. Oh, my gosh. A yeah. peanut butter float? Like a peanut butter milkshake almost. If you oh, that is and real that, good now. And they've got like 30 different honeys you can choose from. They're all local, all Minnesota-based. Uh, they've it. been around for 75 years here at the fair. That is great. Well, give it up for the staff, everybody. Those are our State Fair best things ever. What's your favorite? Well, I don't have a favorite. They're all our favorites. I'm not going to pick. They're so different. They are very different. Very different categories. I'm picking that hummus, man. That hummus was really good. And then the ice cream. Yeah, I think ice cream might be like mine. I'm picking mine last. Yeah. yeah. I liked everyone else's. Just when you have the chicken salt on other stuff. I mean, it's like what? Ice cream? (laughs) 
He's gonna snap. It's the last. We're like this all the time. I'm moments from snapping. Uh, where, what are we doing next, Jeff? You're going to break. I'm going to break. So I'm gonna say this. We'll be right back. So good. Right after this, everybody.